uh, distinguished by elegance in capital letters. This is very special. This is also from year to year, it varies, but it's about 60% Chardonnay and 40% Pinot. This is our Pierre Jodan, a good cigar. It's not in, we don't produce this in large quantities. We only produce this in special vintages. We keep it for longer on the yeast. Uh, it, there's another quality factor that we haven't mentioned so far. Uh, in the Champagne, you have non vintage champagnes, which are to the run of the mill vintages. Then you have vintage champagnes with the grapes ripened fully. And then you have the different regions in the Champagne, the Cote de Blanc where they grow their Chardonnay, Montagne de Reims where they grow their Pinot Noir, and Val de Marne where they grow Pinot Meunier, which is a culture where we don't have on the estate. We only have Chardonnay and Pinot Noir on Cabrillo. Uh, but um, so good vintages, you would keep uh, non vintage, you'd keep on the yeast for about 15 months by law. The vintage champagne, which is the better vintage, where you see more potential, you keep the, the champagne on the yeast for 36 months. And a technical way like uh, Dom Perignon, Grand Dame, you would keep up to 16 months on the yeast to allow that wine to evolve to its absolute full potential on the yeast. So uh, this uh, Pierre Jodin Brut Sauvage has been for 24 to 36 months on the yeast and uh, it's beautifully involved. It's got this wildness about it, but when, if you like oysters, oysters are wild. It makes you feel wild. It's a great experience to have oysters and the Brut Sauvage.